sad to say that this is probably the bleakest moment of my life. And it truly is. It's been absolute hell. On Friday night, when I was moving a bunch of stuff because I had uh, had to move, I was being evicted from a place I'd been camping at, and they discovered us. And uh, I was trying to pull this big, huge monstrosity around the corner. Peanut butter got into the street, got run over and hit by a car and killed. He's my love, love of my life. I love that dog so much. It's been absolute horror living without him. And I'm never going to be able to touch him again. And, you know, this is one of the tragedies of being homeless and other people think it truly doesn't matter. It matters. My dog's life mattered. He was one of the most special little dogs ever. He had so much going for him. I love that dog so much. And, uh, you know, why do I have to suffer like this? Why? Why is it so freaking hard to get a place to stay? I'm given less than a thousand dollars a month to live off of. Less than a thousand. It hasn't changed since 2007. And things have well, maybe gotten ten times as much as what it used to be in 2007. How am I supposed to be able to afford to live? I go out and I get a motel room. Motel room, let me see. After about uh, a whole month of paying the regular price of a motel room, usually it came out to about, uh, about $2,200. So how am I supposed to be able to afford that? Uh, and I couldn't get into a place to stay because I don't have a home, because you have to have a home to be able to move to another home, pretty much. It's pretty difficult to do. And, um, you know, they've got these programs and stuff. I don't need a program. I'm just mildly physically disabled. I'm actually able to work. I really want to work. I want to go to school. I can't wait to get back into school and do my music and my art. And I've got visions. I've got. Uh, I'm working with my family's nonprofit, and I want to expand it up to here with my vision of a musician and artist exchange program, where we can have like an open space where people can come and play and have concerts and and create music and share music and march and and you know maybe you have a record label or something scholarship. You know, I've got these these dreams. I don't want to give up on my dreams. I just I just want a place to stay that's not out in the streets and now out there alone gonna be cold. I, I just recently, to actually, the last couple of days I discovered B&Bs, which is really, really cool. I wish I hadn't wasted so much time on hotels, but even that's, you know, I guess to be pricey after a while. Um, got the potential for one place to stay, and I'm gonna go check it out and hope for the best with it, the best with it, but it's gotta stop. It's been over two years now, two years. It's been just one nightmare after another. So I'm um, going to be changing my GoFundMe page to uh, reflect more along the lines of just help me stop being homeless. I just can't take this anymore. It was nothing that I had was worth my dog's life. It wasn't worth it. And I don't know who could hit him. But if you're out there and you happen to see this, please let me know. It hurts so much. It was on the corner of 7th and... Uh, seventh from Lincoln, I believe. It was it was over by Bruins Apple Market. I'm just absolutely brokenhearted. So uh, please stay tuned. I'll try to keep it updated with the uh, new stuff that's going on. If anybody has any suggestions or you can donate to my page, please do. Please help me make this stop. I can't take it anymore.
Please help support the joy of learning to prevent tragedies like this from happening to other people. Thank you for watching.